Hey everyone, welcome back, and I'm here to showcase another tutorial on Roll20. So this time, this is a request from a user, or a viewer, and this person wants to know, basically just character, importing characters, or making a character sheet using Roll20, attributes, and abilities. I'm also going to throw in um, basically handouts as well since they're in the same journal tab. But anyways, let's start off with characters. So basically all you want to do is go to this little journal tab right here. It basically looks like a little newspaper. And uh, click add. So here I am uh, after I added the character. I've already done a little bit uh, simple stuff but basically added hit points and surges but basically we'll go over attributes first so attributes basically attributes are things on your character sheet that reflect the stats and how strong they are how charismatic they are intelligent etc and so forth and every game system has something a little bit different or maybe close to the same so basically you go to add I already have hit points right here, but uh, we're not going to be needing to know how to do that until a little bit later. So, let's say he has a strength modifier of 4. And I just put STR for strength. Now, let me actually capitalize that. There we go. And we're done with that. So, let's also just add what's next. Uh, the things like Dexterity or Constitution. I'm going to put Dexterity. I know. I'm, I think I'm wrong. No, I think. I don't know. I might be right. I think it's usually Dexterity next. I don't have a character sheet handy in front of me, which I should probably do that, but I'm not. We'll say he has a Dexterity of 2, Constitution of 4, so and uh, so on and so forth. Now, you can also use this to do let's say will let's he has a will save of plus nine we'll, just, we'll do that and make a reflex save of plus four and then fortitude of uh, seven alright so these are going to be our saves for if you're playing something like D&D uh, &D 3.5, uh, I know Pathfinder for sure has the save or suck, as they call it, uh, system. Uh, I'm not sure on any other system they might have it, I don't know. But anyways, uh, these will be our saves. And the reason why that's important to know is because the abilities right here. So abilities, are all they are, are basically macros. And they're macros that are easier to find and easier to edit. So we're going to just click Add Ability. And let's do Will. Let's do Will Save. That's what we'll do. So I'll type in Will Save. And you go slash R, 1D20, plus the at sign and it's not in the initial list right here and you can't individually select it with your mouse either so you have to keep on typing I'm going to just hit W and then hit enter because notice it has will selected and there you go and uh, let's see how that works out so I'm going to click the green check mark and then I'm going to test it out with this by clicking on the d20 symbol right here. And notice it says rolling 1d20 plus 9, 9 plus 9, and that is our will save right there. So that's fine. So now, why is that relevant? How do I use that? Okay, this is how you use it. First, you go to save changes, and now here's what we want to do. In the my settings right here, that little cog, or the little gear. I call it a cog, um, which is basically like a gear, and people always look at me funny. Okay, so you go 
to my settings and under macros you just hit show macro quick bar and that is important because of this go back to the journals click on your character and now that you saved um, the abilities you have will save and now you can click show the show in macro bar and there we go has your name beside it and everything so now you can just go oh I need real will save okay here you go boom right there look at that look how pretty that is okay and basically you can do that with uh, all of these alright I'll just do one more example of that and then I'll move on I promise sorry this is getting a little long-winded uh, go back to the abilities add and this time uh, sometimes you have stuff that's extra special versus certain things so we're gonna go will save versus fear alright let's see you get a bonus so you just go 1d20 plus use your at sign W and hit enter because it selected will automatically for us and then you will go plus 2 now we're going to test this out make sure it adds up and sure enough it does we entered it correctly see it says the roll of our 1d20 plus 9 plus 2 now we just click the little check mark and boom save changes go back and we do we want this one to show up in the macro quick bar as well you bet we do right there and you can have a whole bunch of macros if you want, if you don't mind your screen being cluttered. Um, so yeah, there's that. So now, all I want to do is basically show you some simple creating and editing of the character sheet. Alright, so here's where the hit points come in. Alright, hit points and surges if you're playing 4th edition. And... So we put in the hit points, he has a current of 42 out of the maximum of hit points, which is 50. So we put that there. And the reason this is important, because of this. With your character open, not on the edit screen, but with your character open like this, you can drag that, the GM can drag that portrait. I have not tested it with players, um, but the GM can drag that portrait, and it's right there and has all the information saved that's on this character sheet. See, it says represents character, Hawk Besonoa. I did not make up that name. The uh, When you click add, it automatically generates a name. And see, it, so it already represents this character right there. And for future reference, this is where if you want to assign a token to a certain character that's in your character list on the journals, just go to the drop down menu and click on the associated character and see let's do bar one which has a little heart symbol I like to use that for hit points so I go HP and see it entered it automatically and the next one we will do surges voila there we go and that's that and then you can resize it for the players and all that good stuff alright moving on last the second to the last part um, here's something I did in my 4th edition campaign. I went into all the characters' journals and just created a table for them. Enter table. And normally I, I do two columns and I did about eight rows. Insert. Do -do. Now, I just go items. Oh, hey that did not work out. Insert table. Let's try that again guys. Insert. There we go. We're gonna go. And I did something. Undo. Undo. Okay. Last time. I swear. Things never really want to work when uh, you're, you're trying them. Alright. Here we go. Items. Uh, Thank you, computer, for not deleting everything. 
And next we're gonna just do gold. Alright, and he's gonna have a shield. Alright, ooh, shuttle. No, it's a shield, not a shuttle. So, and then down here, um, you can also add extra stuff, you know, just add more, add more, uh, rows below, which is by adding add row below. And to make things separated, you can also just do an italic or bold, something like that. Um, I wish they had an underline, but they do not. Oh well. It is what it is. And then they they know to add the items under the bold, and you can create another category if you wish. And that's just that's just a nice little trick. Um, it's pretty simple stuff. And let's say you have 48 gold pieces. Oops. My bad on that. And 68 silver pieces. It just gives you a good idea to keep up with your character's uh, equipment and stuff. Alright, we'll save changes of that. I think that's pretty much everything except for the handouts. Handouts are pretty standard fare. It always says mysterious note whenever you do it. So add it click edit make sure it's in all the players journals if you want them to see it and we are just going to add something that I've done before here we go you just basically drop a file or um, you can choose the files location and there we go. And you can also do something like here in the notes, just do journal. And you can change this name if you want, but I'm not going to. So save changes, click on it, and you need your players. If you want to show it to all your players immediately, make sure you did this earlier. And players journals, all players. Save changes, and you just go show to players. All right, and it will pop up on every player's screen that's in their journal. And you can also enlarge just by clicking on the magnifying glass. All right, sorry. Um, that's a little, I guess, not safe for work right there, but it's not that big of a deal, I don't think. So that is that. They do have an update coming up from coming up soon on Roll20. At least that's what they said that will enable you to drag the handout images onto the tabletop just like you can in the characters. So anyways, um, that's going to be it for this tutorial. If you like this video and want more tutorials, feel free to let me know. Also, if you're into this type of thing, uh, check out my session vids of D&D 4th Edition and I also have some Pathfinder videos as well. Anyways, thanks for watching.